today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the NECA Toys Cinemachines Vehicle 1, the Alien Space Jockey. I'm not really sure if I would class this as necessarily a vehicle as it was a very stable thing that really didn't move. I guess what would you consider a vehicle? I kind of think of vehicles, I guess it's cinema machines. so really technically the machine is the space jockey sitting inside this telescopic uh, chair here. Uh, it is recommended for ages 17 and up, comes with us from the folks over at NECA Toys on the side there, a sketch of the space jockey. And then on the back, uh, a read-up says origin discovered in 2122 in the wreckage of an un, uh, unidentified alien spacecraft on LV-426. Species is unknown, age impossible to measure due to advanced fossilization function pilot. And then it says additional notes, fused to a podium-like chair, massive damage to thorax and presence of a viable egg suggest end stage of Xenomorph XX-121 incubation. Other vehicles down below of the Sin Machines line, number one was Space Jockey we're looking at today, number two is the Derelict Ship, which the review will be coming soon, three M577 APC vehicle from Aliens, and also from Aliens, the UD-4L dropship. All of which come to us from the folks at NECA, all of which can be checked out by going to www.necaonline.com. Spot's going to take himself a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the Sin Machine's Space Jockey from Alien. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Now that we have it out of packaging, let's get a better look at the Sin Machine's Space Jockey. Still not quite certain, really, the story behind this as... A a lot of fans thought Prometheus was going to be the explanation for what exactly happened to the space jockey here. And we didn't really get that. And uh, hopefully in additional sequels that are going to be coming out, finally some explanation will be made as to what exactly happened on that fateful day. I say fateful day, but... Um, it's a great looking piece, a good replica of the space jockey sitting in the chair. Again, looks like it could be some sort of telescopic... Uh, view view screen that he's looking through a view telescope if you keep hearing this noise it's this under surface here I don't know why they've added this material to it but it makes noise every time I move my hand across it uh, paint on it, it's very good kind of like a like a brownish gunmetal I would say color there's a bit of a, that lighter color right down below here, but the majority of it is this gunmetal, again, kind of brownish gunmetal color. There's nothing really breaking up much other than the jockey itself. And getting a closer look at the jockey, there he is right there. Keep making that noise. It's Again, it's I swear to you, it's the underside base here. The jockey is very nicely detailed. Again, just trying to decipher how much of this is jockey how much of this was the chair that he was sitting in? It was still very convoluted, not quite certain how everything comes together. We see space jockeys in Prometheus, but again, like this setup, just again, because a lot of it's been fossilized, love some explanation, I really would. Um, you probably also will ask yourself, well, is there any posability to this at all? Unfortunately, no. Unlike the dropship and also the uh, the carrier from uh, Aliens, this has absolutely no posability to it. I thought had perhaps there might have been a case where this could have rotated, but if we're basing it solely from its appearance in Aliens, we don't ever see it move in Aliens. So they're kind of really accurate enough by giving us a very staction, almost dead contraption, complete with the fossilized space jockey there as well. Um, I wish they had a little bit of posability, but I'm not devastated by it because the end result is it's still a fantastic looking recreation of that big, ever ongoing mystery as to what happened with the space jockey. Maybe, maybe one day we'll get some explanation in a future uh, Prometheus sequel. I'm sure it's not going to be called Prometheus. But uh, in the meantime, though, we can only admire and we can only just lay wonder to what had happened to the dreaded space jockey in Aliens. Uh, today's collectible spot, though, we were having a look at the Sin Machines. This was Sin Machines 1, and this was the space jockey from Alien. 
Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.